This dramatic adaptation of his novel *A Christmas Carol* retells the famous tale of the miser Ebenezer Scrooge in two powerful acts. *A Christmas Carol*, Scrooge and Marley, Act Two, by Charles Dickens. Scene One. Lights, choral music is sung. Curtain, Scrooge in bed sleeping in spotlight. We cannot yet see the interior of his room. Marley opposite in spotlight equal to Scrooge's. Marley laughs. He tosses his hand in the air and a flame shoots from it magically into the air. There is a thunderclap and then another, a lightning flash and then another. Ghostly music plays under. Colors change. Marley's spotlight has gone out and now reappears with Marley in it, standing next to the bed and the sleeping Scrooge. Marley addresses the audience directly. Hear the snoring Scrooge, sleeping to escape the nightmare that is his waking day. What shall I bring to him now? I am afraid nothing would astonish old Scrooge now. Not after what he's seen. Not a baby boy, not a rhinoceros, nor anything in between would astonish Ebenezer Scrooge just now. I can think of nothing. Suddenly, that's it. Nothing. He speaks confidentially. I'll have the clock strike one, and when he awakes, expecting my second messenger, there will be no one. Nothing. Then I'll have the bell strike twelve, and then one again, and then nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing will astonish him. I think it will work. The bell tolls one. Scrooge leaps awake. One, one. This is it. Time. Looks about the room. Nothing. The bell tolls midnight. Midnight. How can this be? I'm sleeping backwards. One again. Good heavens! One again. I'm sleeping back and forth. A pause. Scrooge looks about. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Suddenly, thunder and lightning. Marley laughs and disappears. The room shakes and glows. There is suddenly spring-like music. Scrooge makes a run for the door. <laughs> Scrooge, what? Stay you put. Just checking to see if anyone is in here. Lights and thunder again. More music. Marley is of a sudden gone. In his place sits the ghost of Christmas Present, to be called in the stage directions of the play, Present, center of room. Heaped up on the floor to form a kind of throne are turkeys, geese, game, poultry, brawn, great joints of meat, suckling pigs, long wreaths of sausages, mince pies, plum puddings, barrels of oysters, red-hot chestnuts, cherry-cheeked apples, juicy oranges, luscious pears, immense twelfth cakes, and seething bowls of punch that make the chamber dim with. Their delicious steam, upon this throne sits present, glorious to see. He bears a torch shaped as a horn of plenty. Scrooge hops out of the door and then peeks back again into his bedroom. Present calls to Scrooge. Ebenezer Scrooge, come in, come in, come in and know me better. Hello, how should I call you? I am the ghost of Christmas Present. Look upon me. Present is wearing a simple green robe. The walls around the room are now covered in greenery as well. The room seems to be a perfect grove now. Leaves of holly, mistletoe, and ivy reflect the stage lights. Suddenly, there is a mighty roar of flame in the fireplace, and now the hearth burns with a lavish, warming fire. There is an ancient scabbard girdling the ghost's middle, but without sword. The sheath is gone to rust. You have never seen the like of me before. 
Never. You have never walked forth with younger members of my family, my elder brothers born on Christmases past? I don't think I have. I'm afraid I've not. Have you had many brothers, spirits? More than eighteen hundred. A tremendous family to provide for. Present stands. Spirit, conduct me where you will. I went forth last night on compulsion and learnt a lesson which is working now. Tonight, if you have aught to teach me, let me profit by it. Touch my robe. Scrooge walks cautiously to present and touches his robe. When he does, lightning flashes, thunder claps, music plays, blackout. Scene 2 Prologue Marley stands spotlit left. He speaks directly to the audience. My ghostly friend now leads my living partner through the city's streets. Lights up on Scrooge and present. See them there, and hear the music people make when the weather is severe, as it is now. Winter music. Choral group behind Scrim sings. When the song is done and the stage is reset, the lights will fade up on a row of shops behind the singers. The choral group will hum the song they have just completed now and mill about the streets, carrying their dinners to the baker's shops and restaurants. They will perhaps sing about being poor at Christmas time. Whatever. These revelers, Mr. Scrooge, carry their own dinners to their jobs, where they will work to bake the meals the rich men and women of the city will eat as their Christmas dinners. Generous people, these, to care for the others so. Present walks among the choral group and a sparkling...